So I've been playing on 2v2t for about two months now. And about a month ago, I created a video where I showed my first base on 2v2t. The one thing about this base though, is that it wasn't like my actual base. It was just a fake base that I wanted to see how long it could last whenever I leaked my coordinates and posted the video. It has been a very long time since I've been there and actually saw the base. So today we're gonna go back and look at my base that I leaked on purpose and see the damage that's been done. And then maybe something else that I also leaked that uh, people have come by. It was obviously all on purpose. So if you guys want to go check out the videos where I basically set up the base, leak the coordinates in the video, and then also where I sit there and I watch people show up to the base, you guys can go check out those videos. But today we're going to look at how much damage has been done in the course of a month at the base. The big thing that I wanted to do was just see how long a base of a YouTubers can last once you leak it. I, I was just curious at how much people hated YouTubers to the point to where they take time out of their day just to go blow up their base. Plus I figured it'd be kind of interesting to watch. So it's funny too, cause I was getting a lot of comments saying that whenever I do actually leak something on accident, like my actual base, nobody's gonna show up because it's, <laughs> they're gonna think that it's a fake base. But I mean, you never know really. Maybe it's a good thing that I'm doing all this, you know, fake leaking my bases and stuff. Everyone took it pretty serious. It went on the Reddit. I got a lot of messages about it, stuff like that. So hopefully people don't take it too serious from this point forward, but it's just for content purposes. Okay, just for video purposes. People tell me to upload 2B2T and they, they say they love my little like uh, trolls that I do or like where I mess around with people. But then the community, they get they get very, very upset. I'm sorry to the community. Before anything, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys drop a like, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. If you guys choose to unsubscribe in the future, you guys always can. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. So obviously if you haven't already, make sure you guys subscribe and drop a like, it helps the YouTube algorithm. All right, so I think the first thing we're gonna check is that base that I started to build. Um, I think it was last video, I'm not sure, but I saw a lot of comments of people trying to use a landscape exploit that, that could be the wrong term for it but just basically where they use the terrain around the the area to exploit where i'm at you know so that they can come find it now the big thing here is that i don't really care if people find it the whole point is just so that i can build it over time and then finish it so i was halfway thinking of leaking the coordinates for it just to see how much damage they would do around the base because i don't think people would devote their life to breaking every single little piece of obsidian that i placed down because that just takes forever unless they are are that psychotic and they hate me that much that they would literally spend the, their entire day just breaking every little piece of obsidian then at that point I would make a video on it because then you guys are crazy but I do just really want to check if anybody's been there or left any signs griefed it or maybe it's just untouched you know maybe maybe nobody showed up or maybe the person who was trying to figure out the terrain around it just gave up also TPS is horrible right now um, apparently lag machines are a very very big problem I've heard that it's a duplication glitch that they're talking about that's making the TPS really low and then also a ton of people are saying that it's the a bunch of lag machines not too sure honestly but yeah once we check out this base this for not base sorry once we check out this uh structure that I've started to build just to see the damage that's been done or nothing that's been done to it we're gonna go check out the base that I made a month ago and see uh how it's looking the last time that I saw it it was a mess it was literally just a lava cast and also I got a lot of good feedback on the like scavenger hunt that I do and people were saying 15,000 blocks would be good um so that I have a book and I've said it over and over and over, but I, basically if you find this specific book that I place somewhere within 15,000 blocks, you'll get hundred bucks out of it just for fun. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Still, um, 15,000 blocks. Let me know what you guys think of that in the comment section. I don't want to just say that we'll do it within like hundred K blocks and then everyone just kind of be demotivated to do it just because it's, that's, that's a lot of different places that I could hide. In. Also, I'm not sure if this is going to go in the video. It'll depend on what actually happens. Um, I'm going to check it out first. So if you guys are hearing me talk right now, then, uh, make sure you guys stay tuned because we're going to go look at an Imperium base that I made a video on at the beginning of my 2B2T series. And I'm pretty sure it was griefed. Um, I think some of the Imperium guys were saying that it was. I'm not entirely sure. If you guys are seeing this clip, though, then it was griefed and you guys will be able to see the aftermath because I'm pretty sure someone leaked the coordinates on accident. And if you guys aren't seeing this, then I don't know why I'm talking. Because at that point, it's still up, which I doubt it is because it's been uh, about two months and it was close to spawn. All right, so I'm back at the thing that I was building and luckily nobody has done anything to it they wouldn't have been able to do much really all they could do is just break the terrain around it and even then i would still be able to build it luckily though i, I saw a bunch of comments saying that they were using like terrain obviously i said this before but the terrain exploit or whatever it is that they they can take a picture of the terrain and then like find out where this is i have no clue how it works i'm gonna be straight up but it is kind of funny that people were trying to find it so if you guys can find it i mean hey you can get a bunch of ender chests out of it because i'm using all of these i have tons and tons of ender chests now thanks to uh, my boy Dane that hooked me up with that base. But still, I'm, I'm working on this over time and 
it'll be done soon enough, but it's not going to be done that quick. It's not going to be done overnight. So luckily this is good. So we're going to move on to the base that I made a month ago and made a video on, and then it ended up on the Reddit and stuff like that. And a bunch of people showed up to the base to blow it up or grief, leave a sign, whatever it may be. So hopefully there could be some angry signs at me that don't like me for being a YouTuber, or there could be some nice signs, you know? I'm going to go ahead and start heading over there now. All right, so we should be coming up pretty close to the base now. Um, let me check the coordinates real quick to make sure, but I'm actually really excited to see how it looks. The last, I hope it changed like a little bit since the last time I've looked. Okay, so we're on the right x-axis. It should just be right up here. Here we go. Oh my god, there it is. I see some signs at the top. It looks like it's a mess. Jesus Christ. Someone left a little uh, symbol there too. That's changed a little bit. Oh my lord. This used to be just a small little base. It, I leaked the cords one time and a bunch of people came and they just destroyed it. Here, I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. All right. <laughs> All right, let's get a screenshot. Boom. Looks like all the lava's gone. There used to be a lot of lava. There's some signs inside too, and at the top. Let's go ahead and check those signs out. All right, I remember when I first spawned in to check out the base, it was just a huge lava cast, and the guy was just sitting up top. I'm pretty sure there's a clip of it, but um, so when was this? This was all February. Oh, wow, over a month ago. That's crazy. Well, that was fast. Yeah, I remember it happened within like the first, they came and griefed it within the first, what, um, hour or so? It's only like, it's not that far out. We're within 100k and honestly now that i think about it, i thought that it was within 20k blocks so it was a lot farther out than i expected so a lot of people who were already established in the server showed up here really quick i think baron dome showed up fast i think he was the first one from my knowledge he dm me about it after the fact too baron dome did so lee master 12 was here was here lava cast yeah holy so nothing much has changed a lot with this place um really it's just the lava's gone and it looks like people have visited over time they probably saw the video maybe like a month after saw that it was destroyed and and demolished and just kind of like give up. But I do want to check out the other base that um, I made a video on too with the Imperium guys. Um, I really hope, I, like obviously I hope that it's griefed for video purposes to check it out and see how much it's changed because if that, if it's, if it's still up, then you guys won't be seeing this and you guys actually won't be able to see the base at all because obviously, you know, I don't want it to get griefed if it's not been griefed yet. Let's see. Oh, Mike Gaming, my man, my man. I can help you make a new base. What a nice guy. I remember that reading that sign when it first came out. I, I just leaked his discord again i'm sorry dang so this is the portal straight to my base well not like a real base but you know what i mean all right i'm gonna go ahead and head over towards the base of the imperium uh where i first made a video with them we're gonna see if that's still standing and how it looks uh let's go ahead and start heading that way now okay so i just got here and i'm not even afraid to show the terrain because i instantly look down to where we were recording uh i'll show a little clip here where i was just walking down the stairways i didn't show any of the like the terrain or around stuff like that obviously because we didn't want people to find out where the base was but i see <laughs> a couple withers um where we were recording and those were not there before so it looks like someone found the base not sure if someone actually leaked it or you know people i mean it's not that far from spawn so people were gonna find it no matter what we were kind of just expecting it that's why we uh we wanted to get it done so quick they made the base the imperium guys um they did an amazing job at it too it was awesome to see because that was like my what my second video on 2b2t and they did that and I don't know. It was just really cool. Let's see, what's the best way to get in here? I can't even tell. Is this the staircase? No way. Oh my gosh, it's destroyed. Oh my gosh. So this right here is where I was walking down. This was not like that before. This was a staircase straight down. Oh my goodness, everything is messed up. Wow. Oh no. Compared to before? Jeez. Why are there diamond blocks down there? What? I don't remember those being there. There were uh, the gold farms over there. There was the uh, the logo, the Imperium. The Imperium logo was there. These were the different rooms that were gonna be here. So this is, uh, this right here was my room. <laughs> oh no, it's destroyed. Oh no, it looks like they spawned a wither here. Oh my God. Yeah, this is where all my stuff was. My first loot on 2B2T, this is where it all was. I think I looted my first base and uh, Emperor, the guy who owns the Imperium, he's the, he hooked me up with a base right here. Not, well, I mean, this whole thing is a base, but like a little area to put all my stuff. And the cage is gone right there. That's where they were bullying me. Oh my gosh, this place is a mess. Completely destroyed. I don't see any signs too. Like nobody left anything that uh, once they griefed it, they didn't say griefed by blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna check out the um, the spawners over here that they had. They, uh, they had gold farms here. Oh, wow. They actually did a lot more than the last time I was here. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, all the, the withers just blew it all up. There's a lot of diamond blocks around. I don't know why. 
why. The, the Imperium guys didn't put diamond blocks, at least when I was here at this base. It lasted, I think, like a month and a half. And it's like not even within 10k blocks of spawn. That's kind of why we were expecting it to get blown up. But still, it's really sad um, looking at all this because this took a, a decent amount of time to make. Oh, look at that. Look at that idiot. Oh, God, he's mad. Did I just piss him off? I should probably not do that. Okay. Oh, I pissed him off. Great. This entire place was basically filled. Oh my God, dude, the wither won't leave me alone. Stop. Oh my God, is he still following me? He's trying to. There he is. Stop. I shot him once and it pissed him off. I see some chests up there too. I don't know where they those came from. Kind of curious uh, what, what's inside of them. If they were the griefer's chests or maybe they were just like uh, some of the Imperium guys' stuff. I don't know. Maybe these were just spawner chests. Am I just going crazy? I don't remember these being here. Oh, wow. Cool starter base. Too bad you died at the spawner. Pixel fam 20, 29. 19 just found this awesome starter. Oh, so this was a starter base at one point. Wait, what? I don't remember seeing this at all. Wait, what? Because we were here. Wow. So we were right there. We were here like a month ago. And this little starter base was here in 2019, 2018. That's funny. I didn't even know that. I swear we were running back and forth over and over. Maybe the Imperium guys saw it, but just didn't say anything. That there was a little base right next door. It's cool to see the ruins and all the different uh, aspects of 2B2T because obviously, you know, over time, if your base is within like 100,000 blocks, your base is going to get blown up. So it's cool to see uh, the aftermath of of uh, people's destruction on how much they care to blow it up, you know? Maybe in the future, I'll be able to do something like that because really, I haven't griefed anything on 2B2T. I've been more just like go to the base, take note of like, I guess for videos, just walk by, check it out, see how it is, and then move along, not really blowing anything up yet. So maybe in the future, I should just do like a huge thing where I just go and make a video where I just grief tons of bases. I don't know. I don't really find joy in griefing them. So let me know what you guys think about that. If you guys want me to go and just destroy a ton of bases. I love going through and looking at all the bases that people have created and uh, I figured today it'd be fun to go look back at all the bases that I've been at that were once, you know, up and running and see the different, see how different they are now that, you know, they've either been leaked or they've just been found over time. And, you know, and, you know, 2v2t is crazy. So bases don't really last long. Nonetheless, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little video where I just look at bases and look to see at the destruction that they've been through. So if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys drop a like, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. We're on the road, 200,000 subscribers. So if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Go follow my Twitter and Instagram, everything in the description, as well as my Discord. Don't forget to join that, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace, guys.